students hope you are doing well here i am with the new chapter of class 6 and the name of the chapter is whole numbers we all know to count numbers right usually we start counting numbers from 1 2 3 and so on so the numbers that we start counting from 1 onwards are called natural numbers then let us look what are these whole numbers the numbers that we start counting from 0 onwards are called whole numbers so from 0 onwards which whole numbers come that all comes under this whole number i'm saying i see way to remember that 0 is also included in whole number look at the spelling of whole it is w h o l e in this H O L E whole means what? Round. Round means what? Zero. So we can easily remember that zero is also included in whole number. Is it interesting? So what are whole numbers? The numbers that we start counting from zero are called whole numbers. In natural numbers, zero is not there, and in whole numbers. Zero is also included. So, dear students, now let us move to predecessor and successor. This predecessor pre stands for previous. Predecessor pre stands for previous. That means before. So, to find the predecessor of a number, we want to subtract. One from the given number. Similarly, successor. Successor. Success means coming forward. Successor means coming forward. So we want to add one with the given number. So for finding predecessor, we want to subtract one, and for finding successor, we want to Add one. Come, let us look some examples. Look here. Find the predecessor of the number four. What will we do? Predecessor means subtract one. That is four minus one. It is x. Four minus one is three. So we can say three is the predecessor of the number four. Similarly, what is the successor of the number seven? Successor means coming forward, so we must add one with the number seven. Seven plus one, it is yes. Seven plus one, it is eight. So let us now look at large number. What is the successor of twenty thousand eight hundred ninety nine? So now I said to find the successor, we need to add one. So twenty thousand eight hundred ninety nine plus one. We can add another twenty thousand eight hundred ninety nine plus one. What's answer here? Nine plus one is ten. Can you hear here? Nine plus one, ten. Here comes eight plus one, nine zero two. So the successor of Twenty thousand eight hundred ninety nine is twenty thousand nine hundred. Similarly, to find the number, what is the predecessor of the number ten thousand? Predecessor means you want to subtract one. So subtract one from the given number. We will get the answer as here to become zero. Here it comes. Ten and it becomes nine. Here also ten. It becomes nine. Here also ten and it nine. And here comes ten. So ten minus one, nine, 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 nine. So the predecessor of ten thousand is nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. So this is how. We do successor and predecessor of a number. For finding successor, we need to add one. 
and for finding predecessor we need to subtract one from the given number so dear students remember there is no predecessor for the natural number 1 and there is no predecessor for the whole number 0 no predecessor for the natural number 1 and there is no predecessor for the whole number C. So that's all is about successor and predecessor. So we, now we will move to the next topic that is number line. Number line means line of numbers. So dear students, this is how we draw a number line. First draw a line. So diagramma in both sides as it is called numbers. From 0 onwards we can mark. First mark 0, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like this, we can mark the numbers. And if you are asked to represent whole number 5 on a number line, look where is a whole number 5 here. Here is a whole number 5. Mark the whole number 5 here. And again, if you are asked to mark whole number 9, here is the whole number 9. So, like this, we can plot the whole numbers on a number line. Again, look, students, with the help of this number line, we can add, subtract, and even do multiplication on this number line. Come, let us check one by one. How can we add, subtract, and multiply whole numbers on this number line? So, first, we can do addition. So, dear students, let us add and do. 5 plus 2 on this number line. So, as the first number is 5, we must start from 5 and jump 2 numbers to the right side. As it is addition, we want to jump to the right side. So, from 5 count, 1, 2. So, we reach the number 7. So, the answer of 5 plus 2 is 7. Similarly, if we want to add 3 plus 6, what should we do? Start from 3 and jump 6 numbers forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we reach the number 9. So the answer of 3 plus 6 is 9. So, this is how we do addition on number line. Next, we can do how can we do subtraction on number line. So, dear students, look, this is the question of subtraction 6 minus 4. So, as it is subtraction, we want to move to the left side of the number. So, here the first number is 6. So, from 6, count how much numbers? 4 numbers and move to the left side. So from 6, 1, 2, 3, 4 and we reach the number 2. So 6 minus 4 is 2. Again, look at the question. 10 minus 5. Start from 10 and jump 5 numbers backward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we reach the number 5. So 10 minus 5 is 5. So this is how we do subtraction on number line. Again we can do, how can we do multiplication on this number line. So dear students, let us do, how can we do the multiplication in this number line. And here is the question, 4 into 2. So from 0 to 4, 1 jump. 0 to 4 it is 1 jump, that is 4 is jump 1 times, that is 4 into 1. Again, 1 more jump, we want to uh, jump counting in 4s. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, from 4 to 8, that is 4 into 2. This is 4 into 1 and 4 into 2. So, the answer is 8. So, 4 into 2 is 8. 
Similarly, 3 into 3, let us do 3 into 3 in the same number line. So from 0 to 3, jump one time, that is 3 into 1. Again, 3 into 2, count in 3s, 1, 2, 3. 3 into 2 is 6. Again, from 6, count in 3s, 1, 2, 3. Here we have reached 9. So, 3 into 1, 3 into 2, 3 into 3. 3 into 3 is 9. This is how we will do multiplication on number line. So, dear students, today we have discussed about whole numbers, predecessor and successor and how to do addition, subtraction and multiplication of all numbers in a number line. So, here is the homework for you. Find 4 plus 5 and 2 plus 6 using number line. The second question, find 8 minus 3 and 9 minus 6 using number line. And the question number C, 3 into 5 and 2 into 6 using number line. And in your test book, page number 31, question number 5 and 6 is also homework for you. So dear students, it is time to wind up today's class and be back with you with the properties of whole numbers in the next class. Till then, take care. Thank you.